Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and I mentioned in an earlier video that I would be flying later this month, and that I wanted to get a set of the Knee Defenders and give them a try. Well, I got them. Now I just need to work up the nerve to use them. The Knee Defender is a device that keeps people from reclining their airline seat into your knees, and it consists of these two little plastic pieces. Now some of you are probably saying, hey, that's a good idea. But some of you are saying, someone tries to pull that on me, I punch him in the face. So you can see my dilemma in trying to decide whether to use these or not. Now I researched online pretty thoroughly before ordering these, both to make sure they weren't illegal to use on the plane, and also to see what the prevailing mood is about whether people would be very upset if you did use these. And I found there are two very distinct camps on the matter. There are those people who say, I paid money for this seat. This seat reclines, therefore I'm going to recline the seat if I want. You want more room? Go pay to sit in first class. The other side is people who say it's become almost unbearable to fly and coach on a plane anymore. That if a cross-country coach flight was used as an enhanced interrogation technique, it would probably be against the Geneva Convention. The knee defender people think that no decent person reclines their seat on an airline anymore because everyone knows what a miserable experience it is and what little space you have between you and the seat in front of you. It's just so unforgivable to take most of that away and to put your head, the top of your head, just six inches from somebody's face. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, my sympathies lie with the knee defender folks. I don't recline my seat on an airplane unless the person in front of me has reclined all the way and we got wafting dandruff coming up that I don't really want to spend the several hours inhaling. So I will recline somewhat, but I never put my seat all the way back. And especially when it's meal time, I'll put my seat up because I know the people there are probably trying to eat. Now I know this is a contentious issue, so I invite you down below in the comment box, say your piece, just keep it clean. And if you do a video response to this video, whether you're for or against, so long again as you uh, talk about the subject at hand, the etiquette of reclining the seat or not, the use of the knee defenders, I will approve your video. So let's have that conversation. Now I'm gonna show you what these look like and generally how they work. So you'll know what you're dealing with, whether you wanna use them, or if you wonder why you can't get your seat to recline. Don't seem to be any instructions other than the little bit that it says on the back. I guess they're so self-explanatory. Pretty heavy gauge plastic here. I was just seeing on the side it has, in very small print, be courteous, do not hog space. I guess they mean unnecessarily. If it's really not a hardship for you to have the person recline, then you shouldn't be using these. So according to the instructions, if you have your tray table down in front of you, you take these and you put them on those arms of the tray table and then slide them down until they are pushing against the seat back of the seat in front of you. And apparently, through friction or something, when the person tries to recline, this catches at the seat and won't let it go back so they aren't slamming into your knees. And so that's it. Pretty simple device. A little on the expensive side when you come to think of it. There's no moving parts or anything, just a couple pieces of molded plastic. But if you're interested in this, there's a company called Gadget Duck. I think they're the only one actually that sells it. They're the ones that invented it. And it's $21.95 plus the shipping and handling. I'll put a link to their website down below. They don't seem to sell it on Amazon or anywhere else, so you end up ordering it directly from the company. Now, they've researched this, and I've read about other people who've researched this, and this doesn't violate any FAA regulations. Now, you can't use it during uh, takeoff and landing and any other time that your, uh, your tray table has to be up. But of course, it wouldn't work if your tray table was up anyway. But that's the only thing the FAA has to say about it. And the airlines seem to be leaving it up to the flight crew, especially the flight attendants, to judge the dynamics of the situation. And if they do tell you to take them off and put them away, you have to do that. Otherwise, you're talking federal regulations and air marshals, and you don't want to go down that road. So it's just a matter of trying them out to see whether they work technically and also whether they work sociologically. I'd encourage you to subscribe, um, or at very least check back at the end of the month. I'll put a link here to the follow-up video. Or if you happen to be on that flight with me, somewhere stuck back in steerage, and you hear the following announcement from the flight attendant over the public address system, all I can ask is, please be gentle. Hi, this is your flight attendant. The captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Please feel free to move about the cabin and punch in the head of the guy with the knee defenders in seat 14B. And remember, get in your own punches first before assisting those around you who may need help with their punching. Have a good fight. The nose in front of this stage, they're coming down on the line now. It's subscribe now and watch video. Subscribe now and watch video as they hit the line. Oh, it's subscribe now. You've just got to subscribe now to Epic Review Guys. They're a winner every time.